Hey guys, Press Nickerson here, coming at you with another video. Uh, MLB The Show 16 just came out. I was playing it all night last night. Played a crap ton of Diamond Dynasty games, a crap ton of Battle Royale games. Didn't really get anywhere in Battle Royale, but I wanted to make my Diamond Dynasty review video right now, so here we go. Alright, there's a lot of things I like about Diamond Dynasty and MLB The Show 16. And there's a few things that I very much dislike about Diamond Dynasty, and I'll go through those in a second here. Alright, some of the... Oh, yeah, my uh, name is the Westerosi Knights from Game of Thrones, if you don't know what that is. Uh, can I show you my uniforms? One second. I'll show you my squadron real quick, too. Uh, nothing too fancy. I just started playing, but... Here, I'll go, st I'll go through it real quick. Alright, catcher, first baseman. I had uh, Chris Davis, but he sucks, so I got rid of him. He couldn't get a hit for me for some reason. Carlos Correa, which is a beast for me. Michael Brantley, Lorenzo Cain, which is a beast for me also. And, yeah, th see this guy right here? Look at his stats for a 76. Look at that, 99 contact versus lefty, 99 vision, just... Awesome. Alright, so I want to do my review video, so here it is. Alright, one of the things I want to change in Diamond Dynasty, if you go to the player cards on your squad and you press triangle, it used to be in MLB The Show 15, you would be able to see their stats for your team. Like if they threw 62 pitches for your not, ex not pitches, excuse me, 62 innings pitched for your uh, team and had like 48 strikeouts or something along the lines of that, it would usually show on their player card, but now it doesn't show that. It just shows an empty Twitter feed for some reason. And I used to be able to see who's doing good on my team and who's not doing good. You can still see that, but it's like the most frustrating way to see who's doing good and who's doing bad on your team. Because you have to go to records... Uh, you have to go to statistics. And then they also show you the players from Battle Royale that was on your team. So that's confusing too because, uh, let me try to find an example. I didn't have Flashback Ryan Vogelsong on my Diamond Dynasty squad. Or I didn't have Jorge Lopez on my Diamond Dynasty squad. And let me try to find one more example. And I sure as hell did not have Mike Trout on my Diamond Dynasty squad. So I don't like that that it mixes Battle Royale players with uh, Diamond Dynasty players. I just don't like that. And it's super difficult to find your uh, stats, by the way. You want to see who's doing good on your team. You want to see who's doing bad on your team. But yeah, that's just one of the things I very much do not like about Diamond Dynasty. Uh, I'll go over a few things that I do like, which is Battle Royale. If you guys don't know what it is, it's kind of like Draft Champions in uh, Madden 16, where you draft a team. Uh, you have to. Uh, here's one of the things I don't like, where you have to do 1,500 stubs to enter. I understand why, because of the things you could win, like a Nolan Ryan, uh, Louis, excuse me, Louis Tiant, Alex Rodriguez. But I wish the uh, Entry fee would be a little bit lower. Uh, I haven't done Conquest yet, so I can't really say anything about that. Um, what else do I want to go over? Oh, the captains. I'm not really too certain about the captain thing yet. I, I don't know if I like it or not. I mean, I have 398 tickets. I don't know if that's good or not, but I don't know if I'm going to be really doing captains. Unless I get like a crap ton of tickets or something. So I don't. I'm not really too fond on the captains idea. Uh, missions, again, not really too fond on that either. I mean, I like that you'll be able to collect cards and get a card that, I mean, I would kind of want a Bartolo Colon from 2005, that'd be cool. Or a, uh, what was the other one I was looking at? A Matt Kemp from 2006, which I was using in Battle Royale, and he's a pretty good player. But, um, yeah, I'm not really fond on the missions either, but it is what it is, I guess. And um, I'm trying to think of anything else I want to go over. I can't really think of a lot. Oh, I like the, uh, what is that called? Uh, one second. The Inside Edge Daily Matchup Rating. I very much like that. Very much like that. It sounds weird. 
Because if you go to, uh, I'm going to try to find that example I was looking at. I think he's at second base or something like that. I might be wrong. But there's some guy with like plus 12 contact, plus 12 power, and it's like ridiculous. Let's look at Travis here. He got plus 5 for power and contact and because he has a 4-star matchup rating. I very much like that because... When you're playing in a game, you can very much see that he has that four-star matchup rating, and it really helps your team out. All right, so I'm trying to think. Here, I'll show you my uniforms. Cause I I took a while to do it, so I want to show them off. I'm trying to get you a good. There you go. Those are the home uniforms, knights with a dragon cap. All right, let me show you the away uniforms real quick, and then that'll probably be the video. All right. Oops. And that just says Westerosi. So, yeah, that's my uniforms. All right, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, one more thing I want to go over is the legend thing. Uh, I mean, there's so many different legends. But I don't understand why they have, like, legends that are, like, silver tier. I don't understand that. Let me see if I can show you an example real quick. Let me see if I can show you an example. Like, Rod Crew, 84 overall, or, like, a Cliff Floyd for 78 overall. Like, that's just ridiculous, in my opinion. But I understand why they did it, but I just don't like legends that are, like, 2,000. Is this even a legend? Is it even considered a legend? I don't, I don't know if it's considered a legend. Wait, did it say it? I don't know. Oh yeah, it's legend series. I, I just don't like the fact that you can buy a legend for 2000 but I don't know. Anyways, guys, that's probably going to do it for this video. I went over everything I wanted to go over. Um, overall, Diamond Dynasty is a very fun mode, and I would get it if I were you. If you won't get MLB The Show 16, I definitely recommend Diamond Dynasty. That's what I meant to say. And yeah, that's all I got for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.